Det var det du rungstål. Du kan ikke få pigt, jo. Joy. What the f***, Joy? Hi, welcome to another episode of Food Finders. This is season 3, the first episode, and we are starting with a new co-host with us. This is Joy. Hey everyone, my name is Joy. I'm a Canadian living in Singapore for the oh, past we love five Canadians. years. And I used to work in startups, but you know, taking a break now. And I stream on Twitch and I part-time teach yoga. So today <laughs> we are in East Coast. We're gonna do an episode on East Coast. We've been doing a lot of West Side things uh, in the past season and we've finally landed in the East. How do you find East versus West? Whose food is better? I have to say that I've never really eaten in the West. I've only been to Gem. I mean, I would love to go if like, you know, people can show me where to go in the West. You know who can help you? Watch our previous episode on Food Finders! Okay! Thanks to our sponsor, OctaFX, today, we can afford another co-host. You pay me, man? Yeah, OctaFX will pay you for this. Okay, what do they do? Allow my special guest to talk about our sponsor. In one of my previous videos, I told you about OctaFX copy trading, and now I want to introduce you to the OctaFX trading app, an app for more advanced traders. With more than 10 years of experience and multiple awards, OctaFX Trading App is an investment platform you can trust with your personal data. Apart from being already well known all over the world, OctaFX is striving to adapt its services to Singaporean clients. OctaFX Trading App gives the best service to their clients such as having no commission on deposits and withdrawals, the lowest spreads on the market, no hidden fees, leverage up to 500 times which is the highest in the industry, convenient Singapore local payment systems as well as 24-7 support team that is always ready to answer your questions. As it is impossible to earn without learning, OctaFX provides you with all types of educational materials on a regular basis, like webinars and live trading sessions hosted by international experts on YouTube featuring market analysis, news and more. Download the OctaFX trading app with my link in the description and use my exclusive promo code SEFLUI to get 100% bonus for your first deposit. Now back to you, Seth. All right, thanks, Seth. And the Oscar goes to. And now we are ready to resume this episode. Let's head to our first spot at East Coast Road. Let's go. <laughs> so we're here at Kota 88. This will be our first stop. Have you ever been here? I've been to Springville actually. I ate at this Moroccan place next door. That's actually oh, really, really good. But okay. I've seen this place and I wanted to check it out. So Kota 88 is a Chinese Indonesian restaurant. Chinese Indos are on, on the more atas, uh, richer side. So, you know, let's go check out the food and what they serve. The menu looks quite interesting. It's like I, yeah. I recognize some of these dishes, but it's different. <laughs> yeah, actually, the names also sound very similar to what you were here in Chinese restaurants. Su Baku, so Pai Gu, it, Su Pai Gu. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds like an amalga yeah. amalgamation, big words. So there's stuff like Fu Yong Pai, Indonesian crab omelette, which sounds like Fu Rong Tan. Yeah, maybe we can ask someone what the concept of Kota 88 is about. So I was wondering, what is Kota 88 about? It's more like an Indonesian Chinese cuisine that we actually want to introduce to the local market in the Singapore. So Kota, actually the meaning is uh, city. It's also like another slang used to describe the Chinatown in Jakarta Oh, it's city. slang? Um, yeah. Ah, okay. So when someone says Kota, like we're going to Kota, yeah. then in Jakarta, then in it's Jakarta, like, okay, we're going to Chinatown. Chinatown. It's out. Oh, okay. The last time the Chinese immigrants in Indonesia, uh, most of them actually they stay around this area. Okay. There is a mix of the Chinese Indonesian cuisine that with the local Indonesian culinary characteristics. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. We're gonna just order a few dishes to try. We gotta get like the satay. The satay, of you know. course. The Fu Yun Hai. Gotta get some eggs. Wow. So okay. the food is here. What is this? Yun Fun Hai. No, it's a Fu Yun Hai. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought you're Chinese. I am Chinese. You cannot speak Chinese. You're not real Chinese. La. So there's nasi goreng and then yeah. the udang goreng. It kind of looks very crispy. Oh, wait. Sorry. The uh, Oh, the satay is here. Uh, I just squeeze oh, it in. Wow. Okay. So the satay has arrived. Which you want to start first? I think the omelette because it looks really okay. crispy. It's so big. Uh, that's what I give you a small. Okay, I'm just going to try one without sauce. 
It tastes like onions. Oh wow, yeah, interesting. I like that it's like a combination of all the flavors. And it's very light, so it's not super heavy like a normal egg omelette. It's very fluffy. It's very fluffy, yeah. I, I, I like it. I like it without wow. sauce, but then I'm gonna get the crab. How do you know where the crab is? <laughs> I'm ruined! Even though it looks kind of big, it's not. It's not that filling. This would be a good appetizer. I feel like we're eating too much of this and we're not gonna move yeah, on to the rest so of much. the dishes. They're so good! Okay, I'm gonna try this. Yeah, let's move on to the satay. Um, this is pork liver. Tastes like how a liver should taste. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. But the sauce around it, the caramelized sauce, may move, remove some oh. of the liver taste away actually. So okay. I like that. I'm gonna be upfront with you fam. I'm not a... Liver person? Not a liver person. Normally, I don't really like liver. I actually don't like liver. liver either, but oh. I like this. I really like the pork skin. Oh, it's okay. kind of a mix between like Chinese style braised pork but sweeter. Moving on to uh, this should be intestine. I love intestine though. Right. So it's on the sweeter side. Mm, like definitely it. much sweeter and softer. So it's like easier to chew. I feel like because usually yeah. the intestines like take a bit of time to yeah. chew. Mm. Oh, the pork was really nice. They actually put a piece of fat like in between. Lean and then like there's a bit of fat and then Ooh. like lean. So I like that about this satay. You're right, you're right. I was actually going to say that liver was one of my faves. Oh. I don't like liver. You don't like liver but you like But it was liver. actually like a good good mixture of Okay, flavors. you know what? No, no way. Really? <laughs> you don't like liver but it's like... Wait, okay. wait, wait. Li uh, <laughs> Okay, okay. The, the initial was actually okay. After chewing, you get like the yeah. iron, iron, irony, irony, irony mm -hmm. flavor. That still tastes like okay. Liver. Refresh. <laughs> Just go for it. Oh, you have to try the homemade chili. They said it was homemade. Oh, okay. It's like a thin batter on the yeah. prawn. Usually uh, it's very thick yeah. and I'm not a fan of that. All you taste is the batter and it tastes very powdery. I think okay, it's really juicy. I think yeah. I, for this one, I would recommend um, using the chili yeah, yeah. so you get that mm. extra like boost yeah. of flavor. Let's move on to rice. This is a nasi goreng, right? Wait, nasi goreng uh, like is chicken. rice. I thought nasi goreng Na nasi was with Nasi means noodles. rice oh. and goreng means fried. What's the noodles one? Me going. Oh, you're stupid. Oh, it looks like lapchong. Mm. Lap I was just gonna say. It smells really good. The spiciness is actually infused within the rice too. I think from like the pork belly, you get like a lot of the pork fat that's fried into the rice. So you get that savoriness. Smokiness. Even rice. a bit of smokiness. Yeah, and a bit well. like, this tastes like a bacon pancetta kind of thing. Because usually I prefer things that are like a bit lighter so that I can Liars. have a bit of everything. I feel like, you know, all of these dishes, like they're light, but then um, you can still have most of them like after a while so that it doesn't feel so heavy. Out of five, Everything how much? all together. Like as, as a whole, as Kota 88, what would you rate? Probably four and a half. Wow. Okay. Like I would definitely take my friends back here to try because it's mm -hmm. very unique. I, I would give it a four. All very authentic, yeah. But the prawn, mm, better, could be better. Generally, the authentic authenticity of the food here. I think it's really true to Indonesian cuisine. Yeah, that's it. Let's move off to the next spot. Fire, fire. Okay, fire. Back to fire. Tell me more about your Twitch. Oh, okay, yeah. Since I was taking a break from after quitting my job, I was like, oh, what should I do now? And I've always wanted to stream, try streaming on Twitch. Mm -hmm. So I decided to just like, okay, let's just do it. Playing Play games with game. the viewer sometimes. I Like on Mondays, I usually play mm -hmm. games. So I'll do Mario Kart, Smash Bros, maybe Valorant, mm -hmm. Fall Guys is a new one recently. And then on Thursdays, I do like a variety of things. So I'll like bake on stream. Mm -hmm. I'll cook on the stream, play my ukulele and sing, and then sometimes do yoga streams as well. So what's like the the weirdest thing a fan has I don't know, messaged or like done? I think at the beginning when I started streaming, there was like some random people that come in and out, right? Like okay. they'll just come into a channel, say something and then they leave. So I had mm. one person who came into the channel and was like, can I suck on your toes? <laughs> do y'all girls like when dudes suck y'all toes? Are y'all into that? Well, what I said is that the only thing that can suck on my toes is my cat. Yeah, but that was one of the weirdest things that someone said Came to me on the like, street. Okay, but but let's say if he offered you $10,000 to Whoa. suck on your toes for like five minutes. What? That's you... a long time! I would probably not. My fiance would definitely be very, very against it. Hey, okay, what if you had socks on? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's still a hard pass. Would you like do it? it? Almost definitely. I feel like you would do it. We are here at Brunner's Coffee, Coffee Shop. Shop. We are here to try this Western, what I call it Western? It's like a Western shop Western. some food. Like they serve really good uh, beef wellington. In they, general, yeah. like I think beef wellingtons are pretty hard to find yeah, as beef well. Wang I've like, always heard atas, about it but never yeah. had it. Yeah, it's very atas. Atas stuff in a coffee Atas. shop. So probably gonna try like another thing. There's this katong jago thing. It has a lot of newspaper features <laughs> kind of thing. You know so it's like, good when they have newspaper. Yeah, clothing. when you okay, let's go. 
can we order one of the beef wellington okay. with foie gras? Uh, I don't have the foie gras at the moment. Oh, you don't have foie gras, then just the beef wellington. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go get the other um, stall, which is the, what is it called? Katong Jago. Check out all the newspaper <laughs> clippings. You know it's a, you know it's real deal when they have newspaper clippings. Hello. Um, what's the most popular dish here? This is the most popular dish. Okay, that's the jaro yuan zhou. This one is one. This one is one. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> but this is very confusing, okay? Okay, this is the real stall with the newspaper clippings, okay? Uh, you go chocolate tiao, si kwa wu de. Okay, so let's go back to the seat and wait for all of the food dishes that are coming our way. Okay, so I remember specifically asking you to get the kuei tiao. It's a famous thing, but the first thing that arrived was this bowl of konbi. The stall signs are very confusing. I asked the lady, like, what was your most famous dish? Yeah, and she and said the fried kongi. ball konji. And I was yeah. like, oh, okay. But then I looked on the menu, yeah, and I was like, yeah. and there's no kuei tiao, tiao here. Okay. I was like, I felt a bit too, like, paise, you know, because uh, I already, like, started the conversation. Yeah. Right. So I was like, okay, I'll get the fried ball konji. you had to buy konji. something. What's the name of the stall? Ayi konji. Ayi Congee. Yeah, this better be good. So Katong Jago, I think you added extra cockles. Yes. Why extra? I don't know. I thought you would like cockles, no? I mean, I do, but... I don't know. Stuff. He charged me $2 extra for the cockles. Okay, let's start with the fried meatball porridge. Looks like porridge. Why are you so against porridge? Oh my god. I like porridge. Oh, I like porridge. Oh, Ooh. more. Well, I like the yotel already. Oh, the porridge is not bad. Okay, surprise, good. surprise fine. The flavor is okay. inside the porridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. How oh, do you find wow. the texture? Do you like this consistency? Yeah, the, I think it's a good consistency. Good I don't like it too thick. I like it a bit like lighter, medium. Mm -hmm. So this is a good consistency. It's not too thick, not too runner, like watery yeah. and run runny. It's I don't good. know, the balls was slightly disappointing though. Yeah. Like, a bit dry, but the ball is a bit salty. I think there's like not too much else going on for the balls. I think too much fried stuff in here. I could do without uh, the balls, but like something else. They have the usual like pidan with the yeah, shredded maybe, maybe pork those, and stuff those like would have been that. Like, but this is apparently the most popular dish, so we just better try it. Okay, how, how would you rate this? Probably a Your, three. Yeah. I'd say like 3.5, I guess. For someone like who didn't want the congee the Benefit of the place. doubt that I think the other flavors would be better. Cause like the base is good. Okay, let's move on. So typical char kway tiao, there is lap chong. Yes, oh, thank you. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Uh, beef Wellington came, but yeah, mm. we're just gonna taste the chocolate jiao I feel salty. Salty! Whoa, spicy! I think mean, they overdid it with the chili. Kind of covered up the flavor of yeah. the chocolate right. tail, trueness of the smokiness or anything like that. Ooh, the cockle flavor is very strong. It's yeah, a bit small in size, but. A burst of cockle flavor in your burst mouth. Off. I think the mixture of flavor is just not there, the balance. Like the brininess of the cockle is a bit too strong when I bite into it. It's like all when, over the like... place. I'm at 2.5. Oh, shit. <laughs> is that too me? The is like so high. I'd give it a 3.5 like just comparing. The only thing dragging it down is really like the chili but I do like there is a fair amount of tiny mm. sausage or lap chong inside. I'm ready to move on. <laughs> so we have cut the beef wellington. Was it easy to cut through? Uh, yeah, mm. it was actually pretty tender. Mm. So this is a tenderloin cut. A beef wellington normally comes wrapped in puff pastry. So this is the yeah. only place I know that actually serves a beef wellington in a coffee shop. Mm. I love how like the juices all just still, you know, it was still very juicy. Like uh, The doneness is great, so we got medium rare. Okay, like start cutting. Try one. This is... Mm. Very buttery. Yeah. So to be fair, this is not cheap. This is like thirty dollars for a beef Wellington, but yeah. like the quality is really good. I've actually been here when they just opened like a couple of years back. The chef is an ex restaurant chef. So um, this Wulu, is Wulu Mulu, right? Wulu Mulu, yeah. right. Wulu Mulu steakhouse. Which is a steakhouse, mm. right? So this is where he learned it. Yeah. How do you know that? Did you read out? I read your article. Oh, you read out? Oh. Oh. To be fair, this is probably gonna be like double in a, no in a fancy restaurant. restaurant right? At least like 60, 70 for yeah, sure. 60, 70 mm. at least. So when I I first took the bite, it was like the explosion of the butteriness, right? Of the pastry. Plus the, the meat itself is so tender and juicy. It's so easy to just eat the whole thing. I really like the puff pastry, it's so good. You're here for the main course, but this is just the um, don't feel guilty about it kind of thing. I'm I love some... greens. I named my Twitch channel after a vegetable, so I'm gonna oh. love greens. <coughs> nice connection there. What's that Twitch channel called again? Bak, bak choy. Bak choy. Bak, bak choy. Yeah. 
Oh my god, collecting. this coffee shop is gonna collapse on me. Daddy, chill. Can what would you rate this? I think it would be a four. Four? I think they did the beef religion really, really well. Like, this is how I would imagine it to taste like, but even better with the butteriness of the puff pastry. I would say that the price is a little bit steep for, you know, this lo this kind of coffee shop. But then overall, I think for the taste and the texture and the like it's medium so done, it's so good. I go with four as well. Yeah, I, minus points for the size. The size honestly not super exciting for me. If there were more variety, I would bump up the score. Uh, but the meat itself, very good. And the price, these are the only factors like really not giving it the full mark for me. Okay, transition to our next spot. Clouds. And this is probably one of the most famous places in East Coast. Beachwood. Prawn. Prawn me eating, eating house. house. Okay, so we got the jumbo prawn mee. Uh, it's not tiger prawn. Oh, okay, so it's not. It's a red leg prawn. Excited. They first, look impressions, huge. first impressions. Uh, first impressions. Impression is a lot of food after what we've done today. To be fair, these are like pretty big prawns. The only thing kind of grossing me out is like the um, intestinal tract thing. You can yeah. see here. Also. Oh my gosh, it's yeah, huge. So yeah. Wait, that's like the prawns like poop, no? Yeah. I'm gonna try the soup first. Yeah, okay. Why don't you try the soup first? Yes. What else? Okay, how's the soup? How's the soup? How's the soup? Ooh, I'm a soup noodle kind of person, so this is probably like one of the better soups nice, that right? I've ever had. I don't like too much of the seafoody taste, right? Like, the, okay. so this actually. But it's still there, though. Like, it's you there, get, but it's yeah. not like super like pungent in your face. Prawns are generous, though. Like, Anka prawns or like the Red Lake prawns are supposed to be a bit more expensive just due to like demand. Just slightly overcooked for me. I mean, the insides are still kind of firm. Is it? supposed to have the flavor of the soup as if it's been boiled for a long time because I find that the prawns are like they don't really have the taste I'm looking for yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about like the sweetness yeah of the like, prawn. like there's like something they all went into there. the soup yeah. I really like the soup like especially like on a semi on a day like this yeah, it's, it's probably like one of the best prawn noodle soups what would you rate this a 3.5 soup definitely is like amazing but yeah. then the prawns itself is losing yeah, yeah, the yeah. flavor do you think it's still better than most of the prawn meat that you have in Singapore still better than like oh, okay. the last time I came the prawns, the nice prawn sir. quality was better. <laughs> Benefit of the doubt, like I will still give it a four just for the soup. Moving on. So the other popular thing to have here, not just the prawn mee, but like this Nohyang stall right beside it. They have, I think mostly sold out of a lot of ingredients, but yeah. they still have a main few things. The prawn cracker, this is like a prawn Nohyang. Are you having the double? Not bad for fried tofu. I have the prawn cracker, super crispy, a bit oily. Peanuts. The crispiness is really good. How would you rate this? I would give it like a four. Pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting much, and then and then the prawn cracker one yeah. was like, whoa, okay. I give it a four though. I like it. That's it for Beach Road Prawn Me Eating House. Let's move off to the last spot, Rain Transition. Rain us to the next spot. Okay, Joy, I gotta ask. So, cause like when I received like your email, right? Oh, it says gosh. Joy. Q. Yeah. What the hell does Q mean? Q stand for? It's just my middle name. Yeah, yeah. What what does the Q mean? What's your full? Yeah, the producer like, keeps calling me Joy Q, Joy Q, Joy Q. I'm like Queen. No, it's my Chinese name. My name is Joy Chiao Yi Wang. Chiao Yi Wang. I guess in Chinese Canada, name. my my legal name, right, is Joy. Chow Yi Wang. So Chow Yi usually becomes like part of the first name. So my first yes. name is Joy Chow Yi. Why? Why? Why so uh, weird? Nothing because it's Why so like, weird? Like, why exactly, is like, email from Joy Dean, Dean was always like Joy Q, Joy Q. Like, what the? Back at work, right? Like when I was working for my previous company and they would call me Joy Q all the time. Not and then like, they uh, ended up calling me, I think, like the Q. Like right. the Q. Hi, sorry. What what time is the satay? Is it ready for satay? Oh, satay is ready. Uh. Can I get five chicken, five mutton? Then? So heron satay and chicken wings. So they're famous for the satay. This is apparently one of the famous spots. So lagoon carrot cake. Best of the best popiah. Naga hey bai da, how you got popiah?
So we have ordered all the foods here. So this is the chok chong chong ki chok chok zuo ji la. So it's choki duck rice, the braised duck rice. So that's not the usual like roasted one. Satay. Satay and chicken wings. Yeah. They actually gave us the. So they gave you free chicken wings. Yeah. You know, you know what what he did for me? What? He, he charged me two for me as when I ordered one. Oh really? <laughs> He gave you free chicken wings, but mine, mine charged me two for me. I'm like, My ladies like me better. Gas queen. Well, this is the Lagoon famous fried carrot cake. Yeah. We got the Yun Yang one. And they $7. also have the popia. Supposedly, the, uh, best, of the best, best of the best popia. Of the best. Which you wanna try this? What would taste best hot? Satay. Satay, right? You, you know, in the morning we had the, we uh, the Indonesian stuff. satay. Yeah. But the morning one was pork, and these ones are chicken and we mutton. Got I like the satay. It's sweet, caramelly. Uh, nice satay. char, yeah, yeah from, the char. from the charcoal. Try the mutton. It's it's okay. honestly not very muttony, gamey. Oh, interesting. Wow, it doesn't even taste like lamb. It tastes like one of those like lamb or beef jerkies, you know. It's one mm. of the better satays I've had. But the meat tenderness and the like, the marinade and all, I think they they did it pretty well. I'm it's, very surprised because usually yeah. I don't like mutton satays, but this one yeah, exactly. actually really decent. Okay, let's go with the carrot cake. Which one is uh, your go-to? Oh, white. I mean, the black is more on the sweetest side. Mm. If I had a preference, I wouldn't go for sweet yeah. over savory. Savory. I think here you can see the black is kind of broken up, while the white is like still together. Like one chunk that already shows the white superiority. I'm just gonna try the black one. But I mean, it's not too far off. It literally just tastes like the white one with like sweet yeah. sauce. And I like that it's like a whole piece. Okay, at least the egg is not super thick and it makes the whole thing like very thick and very heavy. Too much egg? Yeah, too much egg. What? That's no such thing as too much. I think you need more to have a good eggs, balance for that carrot eggs, cake. The better. So carrot this cake is, is about the carrot, right? I'm gonna move on to the best of the best. Oh my popia. gosh. Uh, the one that ah. you fought over. I struggle a lot when I eat popia. I don't know if I eat it in bites or like as a whole no, thing altogether. No, if you eat it in bites, it's just gonna like crumble. Yeah, that's what I mean. Pornhub music plays. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> There's like a bit of garlic thing in the popia. The skin is thin enough, it's not like super thick. It didn't like fall it. apart so easily. Like, like a combination of flavors, like sweet and salty. This yeah, is one like... of the better popia. Okay. I will recommend the popia. Cheers! Hey, nice. Yeah, this is one of the better like braised duck rice. Yeah. Like that. It's really good. Like the duck is not dry. The rice is slightly soft to my taste, but it's good like braised flavor to it. Not too gamey. Let's round up everything. Harun, satay. Four. Okay, I, I think it's at 4.5 actually. I, I really like the satay. And then we have the Lagoon carrot cake. I would rate this a three. Oh, this is a three? One Shit. A four. Boom. 3.5. 3.5. I give it a 4, like the whole thing is 4. The popia is good, the popia is good. Okay, and finally, duck rice. How do you find this? Like a 4.5. I agree. I'd give this yeah. a 4.5. Duck rice is pretty good. I feel like most of the things that we tried here. Pretty decent, yeah. Oh, pretty good. And this concludes our first thing. episode of the first new episode. season. We're gonna brainstorm back to the car. Zoom. Okay, so how was your first episode of. <coughs> Food finders. I think there was like some really good ones and then like some okay ones. I think the beef Wellington was a, like a very big shocker. And I have to say that most of the dishes that I really like are from here. Like the satay and also the duck rice. Duck rice and the Haron satay. This is like a really good satay. Yeah, I agree with the beef Wellington. Mm. It is shocking to find such quality in the Yeah, North seriously. Of right? course, cannot forget Kota 88. Oh, right, right. I think the concept was really, really Just interesting. It's the most unique. Very right? unique, like, yeah. Out of everything. Thing we had today. And the food was good too. Good variety of dishes yeah. and flavors. You don't find Chinese Indonesian cuisines a lot here. Price wise, it's you know, not like the cheapest in the bunch. The food is good, lah, so you kind of have to pay for that. Biggest letdown was probably beef root prawn mee. It, it's still definitely above average, but the prawn quality does seem to have dropped. A little bit. Yeah. Actually, feels a bit frozen. It's okay to use frozen, but like you know, it shouldn't taste frozen. That concludes our roundup for East Coast. Comments time. Okay, there's a lot of praise for Jen, Jen, yeah. Jen, Jen. Jen's video was great. I really liked Jen, it. Jen, Jen. Yes, correct. I bet the Indo boss just googled Seth Lee, and all of a sudden his eyes lit up. <laughs>
On the topic of asking for permission, from my opinion as a viewer, I would prefer not asking for permission as I would like an accurate representation mm. of what we'll get. Sometimes they give you extra food, make it tastier, increase portions, etc. When they know you're filming or reviewing, I will feel disappointed when I visit and it looks different. I agree. In essence of what we're trying to balance here, like, right? Between like permission and also trying to not have it come in a bias form. Yeah, I think it depends on the objective of the video. Yep. Like, yeah, if you're trying to promote a, yep. a restaurant, then obviously we mm -hmm. had to let them know. Say for hawkers like this or like mm -hmm. for the stalls that we went to, um, I think it's a bit better to be more genuine so that, mm -hmm. you know, the viewers see you as an actual person just eating, having a meal mm -hmm. at those places. Yep. Uh, but yeah, this is all the interesting comments we had for yep. YouTube. Now I'm worried like what comments so, are going to be on this yeah. video. Um, if you like Joy to show your support, tell us what you like. I can't wait to see all the... Tell us what you like about her. Okay, so this comes to the end of Season 3 Episode 1 in East Coast. I think we're going to try to have more co-hosts. Uh, do remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Any parting words from Joy? I, I, I hope, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was like... Oh shit, I hope, I hope like your creepy viewer comes Oh my god, don't and, say that! And ask if he can suck my toes. I would. Or I would do it for that. Okay, you can suck my toes. Oh! I yeah. hope you guys enjoy the video and that it was hope you guys enjoy. useful for you guys to check out all these places around town, around yep. East Coast. Alright, okay, see you next time. Bye! Bye! Have you ever tried that, like, eating while pooping at the same time? No. Is that humanly possible? That's disgusting.